You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotunga want as a... Quit to title screen. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunlother is different from you and I. World. Here is the stone circle, but no way into the sanctum. Another illusion. The way inside is revealed. Gunlother, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures, but every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it, but I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future, heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... Quit to title screen. In there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do they say? What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, prophet? Quit to title screen. Can you hear me? Perhaps another day, another thread. Come, we must not keep father waiting. Who are you? When will these damned snows end? When Winter's can... knife cuts deep. Sky pearls fall thick in this land. It, it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in, uh, I don't know how long. You, world. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. 
We have long searched for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there is one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotnar. We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. <laughs> The vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Suttunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You've filled it already with mead from your vaults then. No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? Harvey fears she will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little... Quit to title screen. Time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I am ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am the mighty work. I am, I am. I am a weaver of great tales. I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wit, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. 
We are all friends here. I stand humble in your presence. We are all. I respect you. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Jotnar. Your words are well chosen. Let me praise us. Let me. Let us just get to drinking. I could go on. Who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunger will open his vault. I see musicians. Somberous souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls, humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. The music, then the clash of drinking horns. Come! Come, give it that drop! Mother looks glum. She has not touched a drop of meat. Maybe I can raise her spirits. Utgard, ancient keep of the Jotnar. Sutunger holds sway within those walls. No guests in the kitchen! Out! Are they calling for challengers? Abby! Show us your might! Beat our champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do you mock me? I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. Attack, let me at her. If she's truly your champion, then so be it. I'll try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Who is in the mood for a blow? Perhaps a bad when we more suited to your strength. <laughs> Can you not beat an old woman? <laughs> Don't be scared of that crumble bone. Indeed. Wait to titles. You are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. The meat is half gone. The Nagius cauldron can be drained. She beat the champion. Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Drink in the name of Abby! <laughs> Give it to me! I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my hop! My turn! My... That hop does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this hop? Go die from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. My turn! My turn! Not you too! You'll break the springs with your sausage fingers! <laughs> Bet they won't do it! How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Did you see that? She flew! There. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Umias, Harry Balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Hey. 
Sodume is keen of mind, but he does not have our hearts. We need a warrior to lead. <laughs> Guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps. Loki. Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Forgive me, I. I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? Surely you would not dare. The guests are not drinking fast enough. Egir, mighty friends of the Aesir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. I should try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my prowess if I succeed. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I'll see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind at Mars, speech at... Quit to title screen. Ale. It is ale, of course. A child could have solved that one. Would you like another? Yes. All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard, who has two mouths, and goes only on gold. Hammer. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? Yes. I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Snow on trees. Swans and it eggs. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, Javi. Yes. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel better. Much, much better. I might even go and have a drink. I should try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my prowess if I succeed. I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's this? Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in... Greetings, Harvey! Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each at... Quit to title screen. You must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Ready. Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly. Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? Not so easy after supping at the brook of the cheer camp, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? You return! Keen to stretch? Ready. 
Show me those. They take a drink. Not so easy. World. the cheer cup, huh? When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. You return. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Ready. Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly. Come, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, not so easy so after shopping at the brook on the cheer cup. Watch this second. You feel worst. ready? Take a drink and try again. Come, give it a try! What can I do to get them to drink faster? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's this second worst? You return. Ready. Show me those targets. They take a drink. Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. Fine shot. Now, have a drink and try another. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. You look a bit wobbly there. Kev! Did you forget your meat? Drink from the cup and start again. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow! You look a bit wobbly there! You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. The cauldron is empty. I should tell Sutunga. <laughs> Great Sutunger! 
Your guests thirst for meat, yet the cauldron is dry. Oh, God! I never would have thought it possible! Good night, eh? Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable. Finally, the vault is open. The mead awaits within. Javi? I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? Romance, I came to bring you. Romance, I had to... Romance, I, came I wanted to, bring to speak you with you away from the others. I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlothar. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nornir spin their patterns. We can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There is perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know.
The mead. By this strange magic, my Aesir evade our doom. Hirakin has promised answers at the well of Mimir. I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungar, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death. You're not going anywhere, Harvey. Viper, Scotty's, Viper, Iron Cloud, Superior Light, Now Press Cross. I have lived too long to suffer one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. Be thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> 